Hello and welcome to Customer Insights in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I'm going to show you a new functionality that we've released for Teams, an add-in that allows you to um, use a bot that can query information from Customer Insights for you. So we're going to start over here in Customer Insights, and um, I'm just going to look at Abby Moss just to show the information that we have here for Abby uh, as a starting point. And you can see that we've got a bunch of demographic information about Abby, as well as timeline and other things here. But we're mainly concerned about the demographic information that's showing up here on the left-hand side. Easiest way to get started is we go to Export Destinations. We find the Microsoft Teams external app. We click Setup. That's going to take us out to App Source, where we can say Get It Now for the Customer Insights Preview. Uh, there's also a... Um, some information about getting set up if you don't have a preview environment or anything that you can use, but we have one, so we're going to click continue. It's going to ask me to sign in potentially, but I'm already signed in, so well, I'm going to hit cancel here and say I want to use the web app instead so we can stay in this instance. It's going to start up Teams for me, and it's going to go ahead and ask me to add the customer insights preview into my uh, teams environment. So I'll click add. And once it gets added, um, you get this nice little welcome, uh, window here. You can kind of ignore the stuff above that was, uh, some testing I had done before, but, um, it gives you some basic info. You can click learn more. Um, that'll take you to the link here, which has information about the bot and uh, some of the commands that you can issue. So here, I'm just gonna do a simple one like search for Abby. And the bot's gonna go ahead and do a search and return uh, the only find that it had for Abby. I'm gonna do another search for Abby Moss, just to show um, something that I wanna highlight for you. And you can see here when I search for Abby Moss, it actually comes back with Abby Moss, but then it comes back with two other folks. And that's because I searched for the words Abby and Moss. So it found Moss as the beginning of the email for each of these two. Um, I can click on one of these and it will then load the card for me. But if I really want to search for specifically Abby Moss, I can enclose Abby Moss in quotes. And then it's only going to find Abby Moss and return her card for me. If you have multiple tenants, you can use uh, a command called switch instance. It doesn't take any parameters. It will go ahead and switch instances for me. Uh, I only have one instance, so it, it's going to use that as my default, which is the CIAD demo, as you can see. If I come back over here, I have the default demo instance, which it doesn't use. And then the only other instance I have is this one that it can use. So if I had more than one instance, it would actually return the list for me to choose which instance I wanted to switch to. So that's a quick demo of using the Customer Insights Preview uh, chatbot inside Dynam inside Microsoft Teams, uh, one way that you can further extend Customer Insights into other locations that people will need to surface data. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Tune in for other ones that we have coming up soon.